Shot glasses, you're glue into a piece of plastic. It is. Well, I never, I guess all will be revealed. Yes, sure will. Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Massey Art, Art Studio. Studio. This is number 15, which is Who Did It Better? But what are you wearing, Jeremy? It's the new accessory of the season. Oh, is it? Yes. What, yeah. what kind of accessory is it? <laughs> Actually, it is our new Massey Art Studio pins. So, we talked about a free giveaway. We wanted mm -hmm. to give everyone the opportunity to own a little piece of the Massey Art Studio. Yes. I said Jeremy could have one of these. He clearly took 12. I, I like them. I think they look great. You're wearing them with pride. Um, and we want to give you guys the opportunity to grab your hands on one of our little pins too. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel. You have to like this video. You have to comment down below and then send us an email to massyartstudio at gmail.com with the subject heading, I want a pin. Send us your address. Yes. And we will then send you, completely free of charge, one of the Massey Art Studio pins. And you can have a little piece of the studio too. Anyone that buys a piece of art gets one of these pins too, but we want to give you guys the opportunity to grab your hands on one of these as well. Now, you're probably saying, what happens to all the people that have already subscribed? And we didn't rehearse that. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly, that may well be what you're thinking because we've currently just surpassed 750 subscribers. Mm -hmm. If you've already subscribed, then you can get your hands on one of these too. All that we ask that you do is just share our channel onto your social media and then follow the other steps. Like, comment, and then drop us an email to the Massey Art Studio at gmail.com gmail email address. Com. And we will send you one of our heavy, like little I know, they're really metal made. Massey Art Studio pins, which, as you can see, is actually our logo. So, um, yeah, super excited. We got yeah, these in. They're um, beautiful enamel. Th th yeah, you're wearing them so well. Thank you. Yeah, you sound like a cat when you're walking around because you're just jingling. But um, yes, that's the Massey Art Studio giveaway. That's amazing. Now to our episode Who Did It Better? Oh, we, we already know who did it better, so... Well, it's just... now one each. You've got one win, I've got one win. And this is our third try at Massey Art Studio. We're doing something a little different. Yes. You saw Jeremy sticking shot cups to a plastic sheet at the beginning of this video. Yes. yes. More will be revealed shortly as we get into the episode. More. 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 So, should we just get into it? Yeah, let's do it. But there's no more chat. Let's get painting. Hey guys, it's Jeremy, and this is the Who Did It Better episode. Um, we are using the same colors, uh, kind of the same technique. Um, actually, you can see all the cups that I have here. They are nicely glued to this piece of plastic. How many cups? I have 18 cups. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. 16. Eight and eight. It's 16. Oh, it was 16. You're right. Oh, geez. <laughs> Math is hard. Oh my gosh, I don't know where my mind went with that. Yes, yeah, so I have 16 cups. I have 27 cups. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have 36. Um, no, so I have 16 cups. Thank you for that. Of course, that's Thank what you. I'm here for. Yes. Um, so uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to layer the paints in each of the cups, okay. and then I'm going to do a flip cup. Ooh. So I'm going to hold the canvas mm -hmm. and flip it over like that, okay. and then lift this up so the paints run. Right. Um, so it's kind of like a multi-cup flip cup. It is. Right? It definitely is. Okay. Yeah. How big is your canvas? My canvas is a 24 by 24, Ooh. and uh, yeah, you guys just uh, vote and uh, let us know who did it better. We will see. Yes. 
Okay, so yeah. um, the colors that we've chosen today, what do we got? What are we using? What, what are we working with? Um, we have Pearl Deep Brown by Arteza, Arteza. We have Pearl White by Arteza. We have Gold by Arteza. We have J Jenkins Green by Golden. Ooh, I love that color. I know, it's such a, a really interesting color. And I can't wait for you to pronounce this one. <laughs> this is Phthalo Blue. <laughs> I cheat. <laughs> Liquitex Basics Acrylic. Yeah, this is like some, like... Some hieroglyphics. Yeah, it is. It's not actually. even a real word. Yeah. They've clearly made that one up. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start mixing my paints now, guys. And, uh, and you can just chill and... Watch me do that. And are you mixing into each individual cup? Each individual cup. Wow, okay, I'm excited. Go for it. All right. Now each cup holds three ounces. Yes. You've got 16 cups. Yes. It's a 24 by 24 inch canvas. So 24 times 24 divided by 28 equals approximately 20. So you need 20 ounces of paint. This is math, by the way. 20 ounces of paint, which I was never good at. 20 ounces of paint within those cups. Look, so, I have 18 cups on here. Okay? Yeah, exactly, right, there we go. I'm saying nothing more <laughs> other than that's it. All right, guys, I have my paints all in the cups, all ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm not gonna be able to pour a puddle because I'm gonna have it flipped upside down. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the flip. Might need your help. Is that it? It's not particularly in the. That's in the middle. Okay. And perfect. then when you flip it, keep the cups on top of. The, that's it. That's it. And okay. then now flip. Okay. Yeah. Pushing down. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh my God, this is so amazing. I love it already. It's so cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and put... It's so uniform. I know. I did not expect it to come out like this. Can you give me the spatula, please? Mm-hmm. Do this a little bit now. Now for the tilt. Nice. 
you're actually getting some cells appearing even in the blue, which is really pretty. Yeah, it's coming out really well. I'm trying to get it stretched over as much of the canvas as I can before I let it fall off. What was the last color you put in your pot? The white. chocolatey gold, right? White. I put, I put pearl, uh, the pearl white on top. seems to be the right amount of paint on the canvas. It's definitely like running really well. shimmery. Alright. Wowzers, that looks awesome. Nobody was there. Oh my goodness. This has just gotten so interesting. This has just gotten so interesting, you guys. I'm actually so in love with it. It's like this, it reminds me of some kind of like 60s, like mid-century modern kind of art. I, I love it. It looks amazing. I had no idea. This is the I, kind I of outlook that we were going to get. I know. Have you so, torched it again yet? I know. I'm going to uh, okay, here, torch let me it. Give you, let me give you this. All right, guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and torch it to get all the bubbles out. I had no idea it was going to turn out like this. This is so cool. Now all I have to do is the edges. All right. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take you in for a close up. Take you in for a close up. Okay, awesome people. So you've just seen Jeremy pour a 16 shot cup pour, mm -hmm. right, layered on his 24 by 24 canvas. Now it's my turn um, in readiness for you guys to vote on who did it better. Um, same canvas, same concept. You will see I have a few less cups. So I've actually got 13 
cups in total. I've got a slightly different design going on, but I'm using exactly the same colors and I am gonna pour a little bit differently too. Um, so first off, I'm going to start by doing one thing, which is put in a very small layer of gold in the bottom of my 13 cups. You sure it's not 16? <laughs> At the bottom of my 37 <laughs> cups. Okay, just a, a small thin layer. And I'll explain what else I'm doing shortly. Next, I'm gonna take my jug and I'm gonna do a dirty pour into the jug. What? I know, look at that. So in this bottle, as my flow extender, I have the flow acrylic right, exactly the same that Jeremy had, had, but I've added a little bit of the gold. So it's got this like beautiful, like creamy, like champagne color. So I'm gonna put just a little bit in the bottom. You know, that's cheating. Why? No, I'm kidding. It's the same colors, girl. <laughs> don't don't even, don't I'm even. I'm kidding. And to that, I'm then going to dirty layer my colors. Um, let me just take all my little popsicle sticks out first. Okay, I was gonna go in with the white then, but I changed my mind. That's the phalo blue. That's the last of the gold. This is our awesome Jenkins green. The lovely, what's that called? Something coppery? No, it's a like chocolate bronze or something like that. That's the white. Let's finish off that gold. That's my blue. Oh, it's called Pearl Deep Brown. Ah, that's it. I liked mine better. I liked that it was, I liked the chocolate brown. I don't want too much of that brown in there. I mean, there's a lot. Okay, let's get all of this gold in. Not forgetting I've put a little bit in my cups first. Uh, let's finish off the Jenkins. I'm gonna get all of this phalo blue in here. Finish off my white. And I do have a little bit of, what was this called? Silver poop? Shimmery poop brown? No, it was metallic deep That's brown. That's right. But I'm not gonna use it all because I don't love it as much as you did. Um, okay, now I'm going to fill up my cups, dirty style. Oh my God, I love the colors that are coming out the jug. I know, they're amazing. That Jenkins green with the gold is like crazy good. Okay. I may have to Scrape this last one. No, I got it. I got it coming out. I was a little heavy-handed with some of my shot cups, and then not so much with the others. I wonder. I don't really want to scrape. I'm not going to scrape because I feel like I'm going to muddy it up. Yeah. So this is my layered cups. Now, okay. Let's just move this to one side real quick. I'm going to do the same thing that you did because I liked that technique. Would you hold on to the canvas for me just for one second so I can get this in my hand? Okay, so with my cups in one hand and then my canvas in the other, I'm gonna try and get that fairly central. It needs to come towards, away from you. No, 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 the cups need to come towards you. Right there. Okay, Yeah. we good? That sounds good, yeah. All right, let's flip. Okay. We've got some, we've got some color seepage. I'm gonna leave those there just for a minute. Now, remember this white that I mixed with the gold? The reason why I put it in a cup with a nozzle was because I wanted to shoot my flow extender in between. Why are you laughing at me, Jeremy? 
I am laughing at your technique. Like, yes, because normally you're so <laughs> precise. Precise, <laughs> and this is just kind of all over the place. Well, which I, is amazing. I take that as a compliment. I, I, it is a compliment. I'm just surprised. Now let's flow this around the colors. Okay, I'm gonna keep some of that in my pot because I'll need it to get into the edges shortly, but I'm okay with that for now. Um, what I'm doing is leaving this just a few seconds for the paint to seep all the way down the pot. But what I can already see, which I hope you can too here, some really beautiful colors. So I'm excited to see what happens when I lift and reveal the paint. Completely. I'm really, I'm really excited about this. Me too. I really want to see what happens. Okay, it's been a minute. I've let the pop, the paint seep down to the bottom of the pops as, pots as long as I could because I'm so anxious to take this off. So now let's lift this up and see what happens. Flip these cups over. Okay. All right, now to stretch. Now I saw how much paint you got all over the floor, Jeremy, so I'm gonna try and be a little careful, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. It's fine. There's a lot yeah. of paint still left on this canvas. Yeah, that helped it move a lot. Okay, let's anchor this corner. Stretch back down to the middle. Yeah, no, gosh, it's totally moving. It's so pretty. My lesson learnt is I did not need half as much as the flow extender that I thought I was going to need in the middle. But I'm going to try and take some of it off. And uh, 
Paul, what are you going to say? Oh, just remember this side right here. Oh, yeah. clean my hands up just a little okay so now I've got my basic composition I'm gonna do a Jeremy there might be a little bam moment are you gonna bam on. it <laughs> I might bam let's see if I don't mess this up I like it I like a bam I know you but do. you gotta say bam whenever bam. you do it okay Bam. Oh, see, I really like that, how it caught these colors here. And then drag them to. Mm. Now let's do the same with the Jenkins. And do it like right there. They could. Mm -hmm. Swipes. Your last bams. My last bams. tracks of color to go through the um, to go through the champagne white that I created um, but what I really love is I've got some nice layers we've definitely got some cells I'm going to torch this off really quick and then fix any of the edges that I haven't managed to cover with the tilt and the pour and um, and then we'll take you in for a close-up Hey guys, so thank you for watching this latest episode, uh, episode 15 of, of Who, Who Did, Did It, it Better? Better. And uh, why don't we go ahead and show you, let's have a look at the dry canvases so that way you guys can vote in the comments. And uh, let's do that right now.
So we hope that you liked those and we can't wait to see all the comments and the votes. And uh, how did you enjoy doing a 29 shot flip cup pour? Well, that was together. There was that many cups. <laughs> My cups were only 16, which I tried no. to get away with 18, but well, you didn't do the I, I didn't get I didn't no. get the math right. So um, yeah, I had 16 cups. How many cups did 13. you have? 13. Because that's okay. 29. Is it? Yeah. Okay, math. <laughs> it still didn't get. It. <laughs> did you enjoy it? Oh my god, it was so much fun. Would you yeah. do it again? Yes, I would. I thought it came out beautiful. I have already learned lessons from seeing the dried canvases and flipping the cups yesterday. Like I definitely won't put quite as much yeah. flow extender in the middle and you know, I want to layer the cups differently, but that's the beauty of all this. It's a journey for us mm -hmm. and we hope you're enjoying the journey with us too. And I just loved mine the way it was. I'm <laughs> keep doing it <laughs> Me too. It was perfect. <laughs> so don't forget to like, subscribe and comment in the box below. It's currently standing at one point each. You got yes. the first one, I got the second one. Yes. So you'll decide the, it's a tie. Yeah, the tie breaker for now. And we'll be back in episode 20 to do this for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. What's coming up next in episode 16, do you know? In episode 16, it is going to be the ring pour, ah. right? So we're going to swap. Ring pour? You're going to do the wandering ring pour. Yes, I'm going to be doing the wandering ring pour. I'm going to do a straight poor dirty cup. Yes. So and that's it's, the plan. I'm really excited about it. And the colors that I think we're going to choose are going to be really interesting. So just stand by for that one. Right. Hold on to your tights because we're neckers. coming in strong. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching yes. again. Um, it's always a pleasure. We'll see you here for the next episode. Bye, guys. Thank you.